Let's take a look at windswept fields hole five. One of the first things we should know is that this tree across the creek from us uh, is not completely collision. So let's take a look at that first. So we're just going to toss some disc at this tree. You can see that's solid. Solid collision. And now as we get up towards the top half, you'll see that the disc will slice right through the tree. So the top half is non-collision. So that kind of knowledge is very useful as we look at different approaches to this hole. Okay, so with the four headwind out of the left, it's actually the easier wind on this hole. What I would typically do is take the glide roll rive, put the middle chevron just to the right of the basket, about so, and then about a half a disc worth of hyzer, maybe a little more. Uh, and anything close to this rock up here, this boulder, is fine. That's a putt. Um, so I'm, I'm happy with that. If it gets a little closer, that's fine too, but a putt here, I'm, I'm happy with. What I don't want to do is challenge the left side of this basket, particularly with the roll disc. It stands up sometimes and rolls. Uh, and if you, particularly if you hit this uh, bank back here, the slope, it'll uh, stand up and roll and can't find water. So, so this area to the left of the basket, I try to avoid. I want to stay over here to the right. So I'm fine with that shot. Okay, now with the four wind out of the right, this is the more adverse wind because it's trying to push your disc into the creek. So uh, I think you have a couple options. The first, if you have it, is the light glide rive. And I know you, you may be thinking light doesn't go well in strong winds, but it can make 400 feet. So we can go forehand and pretty much aim right at the basket. Uh, and again, we don't need to worry about this tree, uh, at least the top half anyway, we know that. So, and that's most likely where we're going to cut through it if we do get near it. And so, yeah, pretty much right at the basket and then straight back. And you can even go a little bit further left of the basket if you want to try to ace run it. You can go a little bit further with your aim and possibly get a look at an ace. But remember, if you hit the basket, it's close to the water, so uh, take that at your risk. Now, the other choice is uh, the glide roll rive on the forehand. Now, obviously, it's not going to go as far as the light glide. So if we're going to use the glide roll rye, we're going to want to move our aim point to the right, closer to that tree, somewhere about halfway between that basket and that tree. And then we're going to come pretty much straight back. See how that looks. Yep, and that's fine. Going to roll around a little bit, but as long as I stay on the right side of that basket, Shouldn't have to worry about the roll too much. So, all right, so that is a look at windswept fields, hole five. Uh, stay tuned for a hot shot, and I hope you learned something, and we'll see you around the valley.